Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Lori from Art Lore. And I've been up since two thinking about why my centers are not, how the, why they don't stay centered. And so I've been thinking and thinking and thinking and trying different things. Nothing's working. They're still zigzaggy. And so I came up with another idea. I think my pillow is too thin because when you're doing a bloom, say like on a tile, you want that little puddle in the center. And I think because I'm using a larger canvas, I spread my paint out really thin. And so I don't have that pillow. I have a base, but I don't have a pillow. I don't have like a little mound for my center to sit on. So today I put my paint down already, my pillow, which is the multi-pro um, PPG, and it's the 47-3110. This is an 18 by 24. This is not a gallery wrap, but this is an experiment, so I didn't want to waste a gallery wrap in case I had to throw this whole thing away. So um, let's get down to the canvas. Let's make a mess. And, oh, there's a little squirrel by my window. Hi, honey. Hello, sweetie pie. And so uh, the sun is shining today, so that's why they're out. And uh, let's get down to the canvas. We'll make a mess, and we'll see what happens, okay? All right, I'm going to jiggle you down here a little bit. And... bit more up there we go let's see if you're in frame pretty good yep that's not so bad okay so now uh, I just grabbed some random colors that I thought would be fun I'm going to go with the three colors today and this one here I did Liquitex light olive green just a little tiny bit in a lot of white and it is really pretty I'm loving it. And I'm not a huge fan of yellow, even though this does have a green base to it, I, uh, a little green undertone. I still see yellow, but man, oh man, I am falling in love with yellow. And I'm thinking this is really pretty. And then my next color is the Matisse um, Southern Ocean Blue. It's a phalo turquoise. And I diluted it down with some white because I didn't want it to be real dark because I have the next color that's coming up is going to be the dark one. And that is really pretty. And I thought these two together would pair quite well. So now this next one I actually made and I used Cairo Red by Amsterdam. I think I'm saying that correctly. Both the next ones are Liquitex, the Phalo Cyanide Blue, and the Quinacridone Magenta. And I made this plummy purple. And it still wasn't quite as dark as I would have liked it, so I threw mm, not even a pea size of black in there, just to get it a little bit deeper. So I'm thinking these three, whoops, move him out of the way. These three colors, I think, will pair quite well. So, let's get busy. Um, I'm actually going to put gloves on. Let me grab my gloves from yesterday. I don't know if you guys can reuse your gloves or not, but I, while they're on my hands, I kind of rinse them off a little bit, like I'm washing my hands. And then I very, very carefully, I do this about up to there, and then I just kind of pull the fingers off slowly. And then what I do is I put baby powder inside the glove, and then I give it a shake, and then I can put these back on, and I can reuse them several times, actually. If you don't put holes in them, pull them off very carefully. Keep shoving this area up further and further to pull. Don't just pull it if it's sticking to your fingers because that's when you'll rip the tip of the finger off. But yeah, I use these over and over and over. 
Okay, so we're going to go, I'm going to try and um, go with less negative space like I've been doing. So we'll probably end up with five uh, blooms. I'm going to put you right there so you don't move on me. And let's see here. Um, okay, that's not working. There we go. Now, this one actually, it's quite dark. I don't want it to take over, but I'll give it a whirl. We're going to go right there. And that seems a little thick. This has been sitting for quite a while, so it's good to get my paints used up because I end up throwing a lot of paints away. I hope I didn't put too much. I think I will go with the yellow next, or whatever you want to call this color. It's kind of yellow. Yellow with a green undertone. It's really pretty. All right. And my Matisse next. I hope this works. I'd really like to um, conquer this once and for all and really see what I'm doing wrong and to be able to fix something. You off from there? Okay, so here we go. Aussie Flow, Oxide Black. Three to one. Okay. Cool air. I think. did blow out differently because I have more pillow to blow out. So that's a good thing. Um, I still see it concaving. I still see it going in. So I'm hoping that will all come and pool in there. I'm going to give this a little puff. hairs going in there. Okay, so now I was going to spread it this way and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it there. Let's go and add more paint here. So I can put a bloom there. And you know, with more paint, you know, it might spin out farther, which now I'm thinking and saying that out loud. I think that's a good idea. And that might help also. We're going to put some more paint here. And I have to run to Home Depot today before work. I'm running out of this. And I just poured this right out of the can into my little container here, only because it's just easier for me to for me to manage. My pouring medium is the Bare 8300, untinted. Make sure you get the untinted. And it is, I'm using, lately I've been using the Poly Minwax, the, or the Minwax, the Polycrylic. And it is, I've been using the Semi-Gloss and I'm kind of liking that. Is that a cat hair? Nope, it's not. Okay, put you right there. We're going to do another one there. That's selling up quite nice. Don't know why that's white in the center there, but that's okay. The purple did not overtake, so let's do it again. We're going to go right here. Cracks me up 
how you can mix all these different colors together and get a purple. I mean, a blue, a magenta, a pink, and a red, and you get this purple. I just, it just, it's mind boggling to me. I don't know theory of color. I don't understand color. I just know that I like making balloons. And I love color, but I don't understand it like some of you veterans out there of color and art. Wow, it's so overwhelming at times, but man, oh man. Once you start understanding a few little tricks of the trade and a few little things here and there, it opens up a lot of doors. All right, I'm gonna pop a couple of those little bubbies. Out you go, go away. Okay, and then actually, I'm going to bury you. There, you're gone. I just took my skewer and just took the tip of it, didn't go down to the canvas, just stayed at the top and I kept pressing. So you're basically pressing the colors that are around it into the area where you've pressed and then it kind of takes away that, that white that's popping up. All right, here we go. And we're going to make some noise. Not wild about this negative space right there already, but maybe that will come off once we spin. Okay, we're going for one right there. I like this purple. It's kind of a plum, deep plum. I'm liking it. The last one. I like working with three colors too, especially when they fan out like in here, and then you just have a little bit of the of the other colors intermingling, and they kind of marry together. It's quite pretty. A little white spot there. Don't know where that's coming from, but I'll have to get rid of that. There we go. For you. That's really pretty. But I think I do want to put another one here. But I was going to show you my blow dryer. I love my blow dryer. I've showed it before in other videos. 
if you can have your hairdresser um, get you this, um, I suppose you could order it online also. I get mine from the supply house. In my other life, I was a hairdresser. And so I get mine at the supply house, but maybe your hairdresser could get it for you. This is the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Turbo Light Plus. What I love about it is that it has five different speeds. And it has the cool shot button, but you can press it and it stays on. You don't have to hold it. It has, of course, you know, hot and cold, not cold, I'm sorry, warm and hot, but then it has five different fan speeds, which I think is awesome. So just a little FYI for that. I gotta clean it though, it's getting kind of dirty. I think it works out really well. Okay, so this is looking pretty darn good. Loving the colors. However, don't like this negative space here. I'm not sure if this will make it to the edge and not sure if this will make it to that edge. So I think what I will do is put a small one here. I will have to go get my gallon, which is almost out. There. I'm going to put a small one there. And I think I will do less of the purple so that we see a little more of the teal. And that limey, yellowy line. I think I just do a little bit of that and more of these other two. In fact, I think I'll switch it up. Or did I? I don't remember now. My oh, goodness. I'll put this one next. And then the lime, limey green. The yellowy, limey green. After that one. Okay, and whoop, knocking paints over. Well, the sun is shining here. All the snow was gone on Sunday. It was a gorgeous day. And then I woke up and there was like three inches of snow. All right, here we go. I think that'll be okay. A little negative space is fine. All right, so now, let me grab my gallon. Mentioning that I work for my daughter today, and um, she just had prairie dogs. She has an exotic pet store. She has prairie. She had prairie dogs. Oh my God, they were so cute, and you can train them. They're so adorable. You can train them like little puppies. Litter box train them. Oh my gosh, and they're just such loving little creatures. 
She sold them all. And she sold her little piggies. She had three little black piggies. And she sold all those too. And one lady uh, sent her a video. She had the pig for a week. And the pig already fetches. And brings brings its mama, its owner, to its toys, and they play catch. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to do, uh, I think I'll do this one next. So I did, I did this color on this one up here last, and I don't know if I like that very much. So let's hope that goes off. Okay, here we go. Last one. Oops, ding dong. I have to cover that vacant spot up there. I don't want that open like that. Oh, I screwed that one up badly. Oh well, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. Boy, oh boy, I'm doing really good. I'm a dingbat. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I screwed the center of that one up really bad. But that's okay because maybe it'll all come off. And if not, I'll scrape it off. I don't know what I did wrong there. Good grief, girl. Okay. Yeah, that looks absolutely horrendous. But like I said, hopefully it'll spin off. Okay, um, I'm going to pause, let this go for about five minutes so that I know that the centers are come back. I might have to do something with this one because I am not liking that and I may end up doing that one over. And so I will see you back in five. Okay, I'm back. And I covered up my edges. I redid that one in the corner. That one turned out way better. I um, definitely don't put your uh, cell activator down where there's white showing. It has to be in a definite puddle. And I think that's what happened because when I went to blow it out, the cell activator was not all in one circle. It was had white running through it and it just like got all distorted and weird. So I'm noticing that this one here is already zigzaggy and so is that one. So now maybe I have too much paint. Ay, yeah, yeah. I swear I'm going to just pull my hair out of my head. Um, so let's see what we got here. All right, I'm just going to give it a light spin just to make sure. Yep, we're good. We're not going to hit anything. Okay, here we go. Spin the Rooney. There is a boatload of paint on there. 
Go big or go home, I guess. Let's just see what we have going on here. Hmm. Yeah, see now that one turned out zigzaggy. This one right here. But I think it's going to come off, which is good. I wish I didn't have this much negative space right there, but we'll see what happens. Let's give it another spin. And then we'll spin it the opposite direction. I am not sure if that even really matters, but I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, it has to take the paint in a different direction, I would think, right? So we're losing that one totally, which is okay by me. It is quite pretty though. I like the colors a lot. Now I wish it was on a gallery wrap, but this will be okay. All right, let's go this way. Don't like that negative space there, but I guess we'll have to live with it. I don't want to tip it and tilt because it'll distort everything else. So I'm going to go one more time this way and then I'm going to measure the center and see what we have going on for depth. I like the composition. I just wish that stinking center, this right there, my hands are drippy, I can't. I wish that negative space wasn't so big, but it is what it is. All right, let me wipe my hands off. I'm going to measure. Lot of paint. All right, let's see here. I love those colors together. All right, where's my trusty skewer? It's not bad. It's just, oop, cat hair. It's just the tip. So that is good. Let's try here. Well, that's even better. Yep, it's just the tip. I really love this color palette. Wow, is that pretty. I don't mind, I guess I don't mind the white. I guess it's okay. Um, I don't want to blow this out, mouth blow that, because I feel like it might put a dent in the paint and then not come back and then it'll look weird. So I think we're just going to live with the negative space. I mean, let me just see what 
it looks like composition wise. That's not so bad like that. That's not too bad because you have your weight down here in the corner and your eye draws to this almost to the center. It's not so bad. But my theory did not work because look what we have there. So I either had too much paint or that's not the answer. But I'm learning to live with the zigzags. zags. I guess it's just all part of it. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to take you down. Let me put my cup here and hopefully that will hold it in place. It does. And you're going to be a little bit jiggly, but let me get you down here. And it is quite pretty. There's the zigzag. Darn you. And there's the middle of that lovely bloom. Ooh, it's so pretty. There's my corners. And there you have it. So, I just want to thank you so much for joining me today and let, letting me come into your home. And I just have to give a shout out to the people that have subscribed to my channel. I am just flabbergasted. I have 500 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I was shooting for 50. So you're making my heart smile. So thank you all of you so, so much. Love you all. You guys have a great day. And until next time, We'll see you later. Bye.